Probably. No. Oh, okay. No! Hello, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> um, we will be moving on with me leveling up. Oh, that's right. We have to level up Garrus. Okay, auto level up. Sweet. There, both. Because that took so long. Yep. <laughs> but we do have our own points that we can assign. But I'm gonna wait and get some more points to use, and then we'll level up properly. I would have thrown it in um, concu um, concussive, concussive shot. Yeah. Well, eventually, maybe. Because that's the one we use the most. Do we have to go this way? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You so hard? yeah. Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, it's all. Pansy. There's the Marauder. Mm -hmm. yeah. These are the Reaper versions of the Turians. Of Turians, mm -hmm. and they they are kind of like like if the husks are the the are the cannon fodder, then the Marauders are normal soldiers. Yeah, they, that's exactly what I was trying to say. <laughs> that's essentially what they are then. And uh, also the thing is too is that Marauders also have the ability of. Bu of buffing the soldiers around them as well. So if there's another marauder next, uh, the two marauders coming at you, and you probably just saw that happening there. You see the, the red lines that were going across the screen? Yeah. They were buffing another unit. Which, um, on the easy difficulties isn't too bad. On harder difficult difficulties... It'll it, just wreck your day. Yeah, a little bit. Was that it? Oh, um, wow, that was I it. so, yeah. Okay, cool. You, you have to remember, these combat sessions would be longer on harder difficulties. Yeah. Um, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Which is now, this is my favorite part, because you get to use... A machine gun. The, yes. Which is, which is way more fun than it should be. And it's also <laughs> unlimited ammo, too. It just overheats for like a second. It just needs to, yeah, it just needs to, uh, reload. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the it overheats or something. Whatever it is. It's reloading and overheating at the same time. Yeah, whatever it's doing, but... And it's cool because you can also issue orders from your squad mates at, while you're also using oh, the machine oops. gun as well. Um, at least I was able to on Xbox. I don't know, I don't know the control scheme, how it works. I don't know. Scheme, I don't think it matters much considering I can just... You can just take them down yourself. Yeah. Uh, and you could reload it manually, which is great. <laughs> no, yeah, it's awesome. Even though there's no like animation of you like reloading it, it, it just is the overheat animation. <laughs> oh, and I always like that. Uh, that the lines of dialogue that are going on right now between Garrus and uh, James. I've I, I just don't pay attention to him much when I'm trying to fight all these husks. No, of course not. But I mean, if you had the audio up, you could definitely hear. It. And it's and it's amusing things that they'll say back and forth to each other. That's Mostly, why we also have subtitles. Yes, on. exactly. That's exactly the reason why. I found that out the hard way. If you if you don't have subtitles on for something like this, people won't be able to understand what they're saying in game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the reason the reason you guys are watching us too is because you like our delightful commentary, but we also understand. A lot of you also want to know what's actually going on on oh, screen. Oh, that's this thing. Those are the ones I hated. Everything else pretty much went down like nothing. Wow, <laughs> Shepard. <laughs> you didn't even try. Seriously. And these things are kind of like... They're the Turians mixed with like the... Year, the um, I, I don't even know what they're called, but they're the alien species that the Shadow Broker was. Like, they're, they're like a mixture between the two alien species. And these things will ruin your day on harder difficulties. I can imagine. Because they'll have they'll, they'll have a ridiculous amount of armor. What's the word on the front? <sighs> they will just, they just ruin your day. Yeah, I don't, I, I, now I'm noticing every time the helmet comes off in space, it's annoying. It's weird, isn't it? Just a bit. Yeah, so I just leave it on all the time. <sighs> yeah, the brute, that's what they're called. I thought there was another name for him. Go, Garrus! Well, scurry, Garrus! What if he, like, squat there for a second? I don't know, but his upper body doesn't move when his legs do, and it's kind of awkward. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, not often you get to slide down. Yeah, a little... Go, Garrus, go! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's always good. 
once again, I just have to reiterate, I really like how the Reapers are in the environment. Yes. Like, you can shoot stuff, and they will explode when it hits them. Or it can completely miss. Yeah, or it can just miss. <laughs> Typically, it'll explode. Um, still don't. There it is. Goes. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's just really far away. Yeah. So they are in the environment, which is really cool. Um... <laughs> Which would also mean that that stuff there is part of the environment. I would say so. Just really far away, I guess. Yeah! Yeah, yeah they're in the environment. So. Cool. That's that's very unusual. Mm -hmm. Most of the... Garrus' run cycle is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wrong to laugh at him. But it's funny. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, but you were saying something else about, um, like, the environment. Yeah, most of the time they don't have it be part of the actual environment. Most of the time they actually make it as, like, a backdrop. Mm -hmm. Even if it's, like, that where you could... Oh, hello. Okay, I can't see. Right, that's the only thing I, I hate. If something's behind you, it gets, like... The, the camera weird. angle gets all weird. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, usually in games they have it as, like, a, pre a, a, like an, a static image or an image of, like, um, or a video or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just playing in the background. It doesn't have any actual substance. It's just there. Yeah. Uh, and, and, like, it was, like, the same thing I was saying when we were on the Citadel, that I didn't like how it was just an image of what the rest of the Citadel looked like, whereas you can have all this crap going on on this planet. But on the Citadel, it was an image, which was dumb. Yeah, it's a little s stupid, but uh, not much you can really do about that, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So, moving on. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's also a scripted event, so that was going to happen no matter what. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Mm-hmm. Not much you can do about that. Let's just kind of scoot our way over. And hopefully we find who, uh, was it Victus? Yeah, Victus. Victus. Who at this point is still General Victus. Yeah, I keep forgetting to put on my, some kind of rounds. Let's put on, really let's put on fire that. rounds. Incendiary rounds. Fire rounds. Cryo like, rounds. Listen to me, college educated student, you know, just fire, fire bullets. He suck, suck kind of, it would suck to try and go through all that. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, we don't. We just have to go this way. We have to go around. Yeah. That's what we do. We go the easy way. Yeah. Letting our squad mates bicker behind us. Which isn't too bad. No. <laughs> what the hell was that? I heard noises and it was scary. I think they, I think they saw Justin Bieber. They squealed okay. like little schoolgirls. No, no, especially with the stick up my ass. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I really hate how Shepard runs. He's runs like he's got like a stick up his ass. Uh, yeah. Also, the seems... cannibals are also Batarians, in case you didn't. I couldn't. That out. I couldn't figure. I'm stuck. Oh come on! Don't do this. Okay, thank you. Oh, that I was worried. Again. I was really worried because I really didn't want to be stuck in. That's in your my, friend. Oh, that's the friend. Don't be on the roof. Oh hello. Oh, I think there's an achievement of taking down the um, the brute waltz charging at you. Yeah, I think I it, there is, but I which think is I got it. it's also a really satisfying moment when that happens because they will just they will just fall right into you. Sploot. Mm-hmm. Right on really the face. satisfying moment. There you are. Armor piercing rounds. Let's see how well this works. Yeah, they not work. not really. The, the health's going down pretty pretty quickly though. At least the one thing I thought was kind of stupid in Mass Effect Two, unlike this game, if if you try. Oh, to you could totally take a model of uh, the. Oh no! Yeah, there it is. Oh, it takes. Sweet. It has to charge up. And Whoa! Yeah. Uh, that's what like you don't you don't get to keep your heavy weapons, but when they show up, they're they're for there for a reason. <laughs> you can, yeah, no kidding. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, and that's that that particular weapon becomes invaluable if you're playing on veteran or harder. Yeah, I didn't even it, know it was there. I thought it was a model of like a. That's what a, I thought it was too. Um, that's why I was saying a model, and I was like, oh no, I forgot that. That's totally. I think it's called the Black Star or something yep, like that. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. 
super cool. And it's very effective. Yeah, there's no you have to go talk to Go talk to someone. Yeah. And what were you saying about Mass Effect 2? Mass Effect 2, if you try to use a power that was ineffective... You, you couldn't use powers that were ineffective on mm -hmm. enemies that were like... If you had a, a power that was not effective against shielded enemies, it wouldn't let you use the shield. Yeah. Or now the, it'll let you. Yeah, now it'll let you. It'll still be red, just mm -hmm. to kind of... Well, they let you now because you have the whole combination system where if you Generally, if you hit someone with a tech power, then you hit them with a biotic power, they'll have the explosion that'll go on. Right. So it does extra damage, but it's slightly reduced if they're shielded because then biotic powers do less damage against shielded enemies. Right. Before it's just you couldn't use it. Now you can use it, but they're less effective, which it, it should have been in the first place. No, yeah, it really should have been. But whatever now. So now we're talking to the Primarch, which apparently everyone has the same suit of armor except Garrus. Yeah, Garrus is special. Yeah, <laughs> we're special too because we got pink. But that's... yeah, but that's how you know that's how you know important characters versus non-essential characters in Bioware games because the, the clothing is different. Yeah, the essential characters look unique. Everyone, if they're not essential, they don't look unique. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, you're an expendable character. Okay. You look like everyone. Here's your standard issue military clothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you're a super soldier who's uh, centered around in the plot? Here you get the, like... You the, look the, like Captain you, America. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you get the Mjolnir armor. Exactly. From Halo. Mjolnir. We got another 300 years until Halo takes place, so... Mia Mia? What's Mia Mia? Mia Mia. <laughs> I like that line in um, Thor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's Mia Mia? That's Mia Mia. <laughs> oh, that's right. We have to be the, We have to talk to him about his mm -hmm. family history, oh, where he went to elementary school, how he had his relationship with his mom. So this is why I always felt like Mass Effect Three should have been a much more linear game, and just showing you your repercussions of your actions you did in the first two games. Yeah, it's more like a movie than anything. It's like, yeah. hey. I feel like it should have been more like a movie. You just watch what you did, and that's where they should have just shown... You yeah. know. So you have more replay value going back into the first two games, and then you see your consequences in the third one, and not have stuff that... So, because it doesn't make sense why, in the midst of all this action, you're sitting here talking to this dude for how long. Yeah. You know, I Isn't mean, this... This guy sounds like... He sounds like the same voice actor as... Admiral Hackett. Him up there, yeah, he might be. I mean, voice acting, they have they'll have multiple they have multiple characters voiced by the same person. I know, but it's weird that they'd have two a major character and another major character. I would definitely say Admiral Hackett's more like a secondary character. I wouldn't say he's a major one. He's but you, one you hear him first. Yeah, he he interacts with him a lot. And the Primark is also secondary. He's not really a main character. You interact with them a lot in the beginning, but then after you He kind of goes on the sidelines. Yeah, after you get past a certain point. Um, I think it's when you get to Sir Kesh, and then you finish that mission is where it, he kind of falls in... It goes into the background. And that's when the Krogan come more into play, though. Yeah. So... No. <sighs> it's not the same person. Okay, whatever. Yeah. That's a pretty tall order. Uh, I also really hated how everyone was like, oh yeah, we're totally going to help you, but... We need to you to help us first. Yeah, exactly. I mean... And All while we're doing this, Earth is just being destroyed. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I mean, I understand they need to add more conflict in, to do, in, like, in between you coming back to Earth and taking, and taking Earth back, but... Come on. There's yeah, it's a little <laughs> silly. Yeah, it is. It gets a little silly. Like, and I really feel like this should have been more like just a straight-up war game where it's just set in the future, and it, and it should just be you being told the story that, you know, that has been happening. Right. And, uh, and if they... I don't know. I just feel like they, they overstepped their... Um, their reach a little bit when they tried to do the whole saving the whole universe thing. Yeah, it's like, okay, well, let's just save Earth to start, please. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Uh, because that's one of the things, despite the fact that how people feel about Dragon Age 2, mm -hmm. that's the one thing I really enjoyed was the story was a more personal one and the changes that happened were uh, were smaller, but they impacted you because they were it's your personal story and your relationships with the other characters that you that were your followers. Right. You know, whereas it's not you're you're saving the world. It's you know it's all happened in this one city over the course of ten years, and it was 
your interactions with these other groups and right. people. You know, and it was so it was more personable than anything. Exactly. else. Exactly, and it was also and it also felt it also felt more genuine than the than the decisions you have to make in this game. Oh, I just probably tell. Oh. Yeah, you can just talk to him all the time. Man. <laughs> Keep me posted. Talk to me. Yeah. Is there anything to report? No. Bye. Um. Uh, yeah, we can talk about all this stuff, mm -hmm. but that's just backstory. Yeah. Uh. There's if there's anything that you actually need to talk to him, it'll be outside of the it, investigate menu. Right. That's how pretty much every other asset or any other uh, di uh dialogue sequence will be it's outside of the main. Mm -hmm. It'll be in the main tree, not the in sub investigation. Exactly. Tree. And if you go into the the thing here, it, got some extra stuff. Which these are actually quite valuable. Some of, they're like thirties to seventy five for the one that mm -hmm. we found. Yeah. So, Eden Prime support. Yeah, we got quite a lot of stuff. Yeah. Now all these updates are because we found all of the. Um, yeah, it, it updates every time you found a different piece of intel when you're on Eden Prime. Right. So we are we're almost halfway to getting the minimum mm -hmm. to beat the the Reapers. Yeah. If you do the just the story missions and don't bother getting any war assets, anything else, you will meet the minimum and you'll be able to go and do the final mission. Right. We just want we want the best ending though. Well, so. yeah, of course. And if you do, and if you, I've seen people fill up that entire bar. Yeah, I have as well. It's yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> it is, and you can, and you can get the best endings. Um, you can do everything. Uh, and, and despite what people say that there's only three different endings, there are more than three different endings. And also, the decisions compounded from one and two, and the decisions you also make in three, lead to very different conclusions. So right. don't listen to people that say there's only like three different endings. There's there four. Are, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, or four. There, there are way more. You just have it, it's in the, it's it in depends, the details. Yeah, it all depends on how you lead up to it. Exactly. Um, so we're not going to investigate with you because we don't really have to. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave this area. Exactly. And, and then I'm going to go down to. Oh wow! What's going on here? Oh yeah. What Edie went offline? To the AI core! Oh no! Away! Did they add anyone? No, because no one. No one. I thought they no added someone. Essential I thought. Died. I thought it was even before. Now it's not even. No, it was. It wasn't even before. No one. Okay. No one essential died yet. Awesome! Oh, wonderful! We got people here. What's going on? Also, it's a weird fire extinguisher too. I always felt like it should have been the other way. Yeah. The, where the canister is below the nozzle. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense gravity-wise if you think about it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just always felt it looked weird because I'm used to it the other way. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's also really jumpy. Yeah. <laughs> Shepard's like, <laughs> forget breather masks. I got this. Halon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm f I can breathe. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? What? Edie? <laughs> yes. No. The voice is just coming out of her body for no reason. Not yeah. Me, but I have control of it. It was not And this also brings me back to the thing I said back in like the first two episodes. Where it's the over sexualization of certain yeah, characters. Yeah, th this was one. Yeah, uh, it's just it, it bothers uh, you me. You have a disembodied voice, and you just give her a svelte body. Yeah, it's it, like, uh, yay! Yeah. Joker's gonna be happy. Exactly. Like, and it's it, it just bothers me that that it's over it's overly sexualized instead of it being something that's uh, normal. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that that is a problem. But let's figure yeah. out what happened. Exactly. Transition. You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. Mm. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose So it runs on Android. Yeah, Linux. <laughs> So she's basically running a rooted device. Yeah. Look at that. 4.4. <laughs> I think at this point that's like 14.4 now. 
Actually, probably more than 14.4. I just realized that was Adams, too. Yeah. <laughs> that was Engineer Adams. Well, he's an engineer, so he might as well be a yeah, yeah, I thought it was just random NPCs from other parts of the ship. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground <sighs> Ooh, a new squad member. Oh, cool. Actually, I really like they did this with Edie, though. That they gave her this body, and um, not this body in particular, but they gave her something to come with you on missions. Because the dialogue that you can engage with her, it's this whole transhuman sort of dialogue that you have with her. And she also makes a lot of references and reminds you that Shepard is also, he has a lot of cybernetics in him now. Because... Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, they don't really talk about it from the beginning of Mass Effect 2, but he's part robot now. Yeah. So, I mean, he's he's a, him as much as he is, but mm -hmm. he's also he's also very... He's also as much a robot as... I am a cyborg. Not exactly. They, Close. They, they talk about that, too, that he's a cyborg, but he's not exactly. At least by the definition of a cyborg. Whatever. It yeah. doesn't really matter much. No, not really. Um, so let's talk to Dr. Chakwas quickly. Mm -hmm. Um... I always liked Dr. Chakwas. She was cool. Also, Chakwas is... An, is ha, she is, even knows that Joker's gonna like it. Yeah. <laughs> but continue, sorry. Yeah, uh, Chakwas is... Um, what was it? Uh, is it Anagram? Of, uh, or no, not an Anagram. Um, uh, for Hacksaw. Uh, it's just rearrange the letters of Hacksaw. Is that Anagram, or am I thinking... Yeah, it's, I think that's an Anagram. Yeah, Anagram. Yeah, I thought I was thinking of the wrong word. But yeah, you rearrange him in, and you can spell hacksaw, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is cool. <laughs> kind of creepy too. Yeah, but I mean, she's a she's a medical doctor and a surgeon, so it kind of makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah, we just got to figure out that uh, we're not gonna like explode from the yeah. cybernetic implants. I, mean, I think this is only here to remind you that being renegade or paragon does have an effect on your appearance. Yeah. Um, which is kind of silly. A little considering, bit. yeah. Um, I don't know. I've always liked the way you look when you're really renegade because it reminds you that he's still a robot. <laughs> I am a Terminator. That was an awful Terminator. I know. Accent. I know. I know. Shut up. <laughs> that was awful. Um, but yeah. Either way, uh, now we have Edie. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we can go do uh, calibrations now. Yeah, with Garrus. Let's go do some calibrations with Garrus. That's important. That's totally a thing. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. Garrus, what are you doing? You interrupted him while he's talking to the Primarch. I don't care. Primarch's not important. <laughs> okay. Calibrations. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty Well, I'd rather have him have, you know, good aim than not good aim. <sighs> He's really traumatized by the by the only the, kid the in the one, Mass Effect universe. The one person that died that gives him restless nights. Yeah, I feel like all the like all the emotional stuff is really forced on you in this game, and it doesn't come off as genuine. Yeah, I mean, and particularly after I'd finished this game. Um, what was it that they started doing? Uh, I think it was a little bit later is when they started the. Um, the Walking Dead season one game. Mm -hmm. I believe it was. I th believe it was the ending of 2012 is when they started that series. I want to say. I could be completely wrong. Okay. But I remember that was the next major game I played after this one. Okay. And the relationship you get with Clementine, who's the who's the child that that you care for in that game, mm -hmm. felt more genuine and felt more natural than this whole forced caring about Earth. It's and some everything. kid that I've never met before, but I loved him. Exactly, and and I and I, and I think that's I think the reason why is also because you spend the the entire game with her. You take care of her, yeah. and you 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 build the rapport rather exactly. than it just being thrust upon you. Exactly, and it's the same way I feel like they should have done that with Earth throughout the entire series. You should have went to Earth <laughs> in the other games. No, never again. <laughs> what? We'll never have the feelings for Earth. No, ever. But yeah, uh, Garrus is talking about stuff, and now we're not talking about stuff. So yeah. <laughs> he does also make fun of you for not knowing how to dance. He does at some point. Yeah, I remember that. Plus, if we when we get when we go to the Citadel at one point and we get some like downtime, mm -hmm. 
back. Well, and well, I'll show you the, my favorite portion of what Garrus says ever, yeah. of all time. Yeah, while you guys are broing out. <laughs> yeah, basically. Drinking those brewskis and having a laugh, as mm-hmm. it were. Um, but I think that's all that we're going to do in this episode. Um, well, so, we finished the getting the prime mark. Yeah, is, so... That took, what, that two mission, episodes to do that? <laughs> well, no, uh, yeah. yeah it yes, took it, two yes, it did. Yeah, the priority missions are always a bit oh, you know what I should You know what I should do? Else. I should go to Captain's Cabin, because I have to change my armor color. Because I don't want to be pink anymore. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just because it's a little silly to be in a co- huge combat situation and have giant pink armor like this. Also, you got other armor pieces as well, remember? So we can see uh, what they are. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have uh, blue, blue, and black, I guess. Or should we have white? Let's have... Well, that's- Let's have everything be white. If we can have everything be white. You can't have everything, you can't have everything be white. Yeah. I believe that that's actually at the top. There we go. It's weird. It doesn't, like, coordinate well. No. And so we should be... Yep. And we also have the white on already for the colors, or the lights. You have to be red. Yeah, blood red. <laughs> it's always good. Uh, but, yeah, let's take a look at our email also quickly. Mm-hmm. Do we have anything? Oh, yeah, wow. Is this address valid? Whoa. Uh, who are you? Oh, it's, it's Thane. Thane. Yeah, now you can go talk to Thane in the hospital. That's awesome. Send her blocked. So you tell me your name, but it's... Okay, sure. He's in STG. And okay. um, I believe this was the dude... Uh, yeah, this is the dude that, that you help on um, in the first game on yep. Vermeer. Yep. So he's cool. <gasps> Ashley's awake! And she wants to be a specter! Or... It's going to be a Spectre, maybe. I don't know. Arya. Oh, it's Arya. Yeah, who's now in Purgatory, which is oh, that's the right. club on the, on the Citadel now. Awesome. So now we have a bunch of stuff. And we have a hamster. Which... Oh, I kind of just jumped up the... Oh, and we have a bathroom. Well, we always had a bathroom. I can flush the toilet. So, but still no toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> it's the future. Like, what does it do? Like, does it just suck everything out? <laughs> like, how does I didn't want to imagine Shepard. No, bad. <laughs> what did okay. you imagine? Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next one. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>